Hey YouTubers, subscribers, family, friends, uh, and anybody that stopped by my channel, thanks for doing that by the way. Uh, I have this three-part little mini-series I have put together for the FT Aviator. It's a, a new drone control device that's uh, kind of like a joystick. Uh, it was designed by a, uh, an astronaut, Scott Parazinski, and his fluidity team. Uh, I'm excited about this product. I've had some uh, some use of it already, and it's definitely a tool. My arsenal of uh, equipment that I'm going to be using for my commercial drone operations and also for fun. So um, the first part here is about the introduction, uh, kind of dramatic. Uh, you'll see it coming up, um, and then the next two parts will be more technical. There'll be like uh, how to load the application and how to pair the Bluetooth connections and all the ins and outs about the uh, FT Aviator. And the part three will be uh, some follow up on on how I'm using it. Yeah, when I used to fly some uh, flight simulator programs uh, that had like jet fighters with the sticks, that's what it almost kind of feels like. It's uh, it's kind of fun.
you know, one of the nice things about this is you're totally wireless. Um, you have this in your hand and I'm watching the, uh, the monitor feeds here um, via Bluetooth. So I have um, in front of me here, I have a daytime viewable uh, 2200 nit monitor. It's HDMI feed from the RC controller. And at the same time, I have a USB to my iPad Mini 4, which is running the Fluidity app and is Bluetooth connected to the FT Aviator. All right, let's see if I can get this explained uh, fairly quickly here. So that Bluetooth connection, you can tell because the Fluidity icon is illuminated, the blue icon in the middle there. I have uh, good batteries. Uh, this is a Bluetooth connection to the uh, Fluidity app for the uh, FT Aviator. I'm set to three for gain control. This rotary dial here is for adjusting camera settings remotely. Uh, and you can see the changes on the app and if you push on the button it's an enter. This is a programmable button right here uh, that you can set up in the app menu. I have it set for camera down and camera up. This is a shutter release button here for the camera, still camera, and shutter release for the video camera. Uh, in the front here you have tilt control for the, uh, the drone. And for uh, takeoff and uh, return to home buttons are also down here. On the controller itself, um, moving the controller to the right would slide the drone to the right, to the left, fly forward, fly backwards. Uh, this thumb saddle is used to uh, adjust to the, the thickness of your thumb. Uh, I like to lock it in right about there. If you push with your index finger, this one here, you ascend. And if you push down on the thumb, uh, you descend. And we also have a yaw movement. So when you twist the grip, you yaw the drone to the right or to the left. And you can use a combination of all of those. So you can uh, slide to the right and yaw slide to the left and yaw in either direction, forward and backwards are all, all of them all together. So it makes for a pretty interesting flight experience. Um, right is right. Left is left. Bring it back to the right a little bit here. Yaw is just turning about its point right there. Yaw. Yaw. And you always feel the center again when you release it. It, it has a nice feedback that lets you know where you are in a neutral position. Um, if I go forward and then I send, or if I come back and descend, it's pretty intuitive. Right. So I'll do a little box, I'll go forward, I'll turn. Go forward, turn, go forward, turn, go forward. So I've seen some people, and I was one of them, that the uh, cell phone bracket was uh, very tough to snap into position. But I have a 30 second fix for you. So this is a, a universal bracket. It can go to the left or the right, depending on which side of the FT aviator you want the, um, 
the cell phone to be on. Uh, I think if you're a right-handed, you're probably going to have it off to the left side. They tell you to hook the, uh, the side where the cell phone is first and push up and in. And this is after I had done the uh, edge brake rework. So to take it off, you're going to push out and down, out and down. And then this is still very, very tight because of the procedure I'm going to give to you but it makes it more manageable to put on and off. And like I said, it's about 30 seconds of a fix. So how you're gonna do that is you're just gonna take your fine sandpaper and the very top sharp edge of this bracket boss here that the uh, cell phone holder clips into, you're just gonna lightly take the sharp edge off and do it with something straight. Uh, and I'm giving you a little warning here, uh, be as minimal as possible. You're just going to take off the sharp edge. So you're just going to break the edge and then you're going to try the cell phone holder. If it's still a little bit too tight, just a little bit more, uh, but it doesn't take very much. So part three of my mini series for the FT Aviator, I'll show you how I put together this uh, convenient black tote box here from Home Depot. I think I paid $7.99, $8 from, it, from uh, Home Depot. And how uh, it carries all my camera equipment. Um, the RC control panel that I built and this launch pad that you have seen in many, many videos that I've had. Uh, I use this routinely almost all the time. So look forward to that coming up soon.